Very low lighting indeed. Um, we need to talk about this hugely. We really need to. Um, so I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure all you remember the time I uh, at one point just left during October. I'm pretty sure all of you are very reminiscent to that and remember that a lot. And um, I think I found my complete reason for it. I think I've already like discussed about it in uh, the video about where I was talking about how I left and all that stuff. I think I might have already discussed about it, but um, I feel like that I didn't go really in depth of why and what's the case. Well, here it is. This is the video of uh, my general problems with people, just as a whole. Like, maybe not people you would meet in real life, but people you would meet on the internet. And it... People on the internet, some of them can just be downright weird. Downright questionable. It makes you get uncomfortable a lot. And, yeah, that that's basically me. So basically October was more of the month of staying off hanging out with people on the internet I guess and was more about the um, trying to connect to others in you know outside of your computer screen and all that stuff so I guess that October was basically that I guess but at the same time, you know, just, you know, playing video games like I usually do and all that types of jazz. But since after that October, I I started to see why I decided to take a break. And I, I'm starting to, like, actually see it a little bit more frequently for some strange reason. Or maybe it could just be me, but I feel like I'm seeing it a little bit more as I'm thinking about it. And it makes me a little bit nervous and I'll go over about it because you know that's the point of the video and I naturally don't know what to say other than blah 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 so internet people internet as a whole it's basically a bucket of questions with a few amount of dead rats to give you answers and it's just always been like that, and it never has changed most of the time. That's what the internet just likes to do, and that's what people on the internet, I guess, kind of do. They kind of just leave you in a spot where they um, they leave you in question, and you never get any answer sometimes. So with this video, I you most of you guys probably did have a question about why I decided to leave Discord because of people on Discord. And I'm just going to go and yeah. So I guess my reason for why I left Discord is, like I said, the, I just didn't well, I just didn't know how to hang out with people anymore. And it starts making me realize something that I, I never thought that I would have realized. It makes me wonder what's the difference between me talking to people on the internet and me talking to people, out here like just just out there and I'm a little surprised it's kind of significant it's a lot more different like you're like when you're talking to people in the in you know real life you're actually meeting them eye to eye and people on the internet you're kind of just you know you, you can be in any position you want you could be doing anything you want and you know you could just be posting some random stuff on Instagram and all that stuff and all your and the only thing that they know about you is that you're talking to them that's all they can see and um who knows what you could be doing but in when you're out there you're pretty much forced to be sitting or standing and you're actually talking with them and sometimes it can uh it can change a lot of things. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, there have been, you can definitely admit, there have been a couple of girls I've met on the internet. Obviously, I haven't flirted with one of them because I don't know how to. But uh, when you go to parties, on the other hand. You see, yesterday, I actually, well, okay. I don't know when I'm uploading this video, but I don't guarantee it's going to be um, Sunday. Um, 
or Saturday actually. I'm recording. I should be recording this video on. I'm recording this video technically hours after Sunday, and um, yeah. Basically, I went to a party on Saturday, and um, I realized how hugely significant it is to talk to other people because it gets a lot more harder all of a sudden. Like I, like every time someone is like, "Hey, blah 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 blah," oh hi, blah 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 blah, all of a sudden I start to like, "Oh shoot, what do I say other than oh hi, a nice to meet you, and all that types of stuff?" Because I mean, on the internet you could just do that and you'd be fine because you know no one questions it for some reason. But then in the but in real life, you would probably have to say more than just oh hi, see you later. Like, you, you can't just do that anymore. You, you can't just do that in the real world. You can't do that when you're just talking to someone. You can only do that on the internet. And um, it, it just makes it harder to talk to people in real life. And that, I think, was why I took a break from Discord. was because it wasn't just hanging out with people on Discord. It was that it also made it harder for me to just talk to people in general. And... Um, even though I don't know how to like fix that, I don't know how to make it any better. But all I can think of is I gotta think of something to at least work to try harder to actually talk to people, because um, it it just gets harder. It just gets really really hard to just stand and just stare at someone, just talk to them like a normal person would ever talk to them. And again, it just makes it so much more difficult for some reason and the only time it isn't difficult if you were to you know actually talk with people on discords if you you know you maybe you're like you you put your face cam and then, you know now they can see your face but still that's not the same you because you're just you're still talking to someone through the screen you, anything can still happen when you're in the real world you have to be next to them you have to make some sort of interaction with them and on discord you kind of don't have to and since because you don't have to, it kind of changes a lot of people sometimes in a bad way. Because there's just a lot of people that I felt like I've met that I just don't want to talk to anymore. And for mainly some reasons. Because I feel like they are used to talking to people like me through the computer. And not as if they were right here next to me. It, it's just not like that. I mean, okay... Let's put my uh, big brother Austin for example. I'm, I mean, he's pretty much isolated himself, probably more than I have, and I guess maybe that's his thing of you know talking to people on Discord. He also makes phone calls to people. I'm pretty sure that's another thing, or he Marco Polo's people, or he does something that kind of isn't the same thing as talking to people in real life. Trust me, I'm pretty sure he is a little bit weird at talking to people in real life, and that essentially was me, like this. This one girl I met at a party who was just like, huh, huh, you look, you look familiar. And I was just like, well, I mean, I haven't met you. So like, and I don't know what I said, but I said it in a little bit of a rude way. And even she said it like, okay, that's a little bit rude. And I was just like, oh, and I try to, I try to basically laugh as in like, I'm sorry. I, I totally meant that. <laughs> I'm such a weird person. But that is, that to me is just showing I pretty much just lost the ability to talk to people in real life and to me that's just bad and yeah and now that I've also been isolating myself in my room and I've also been talking to more people in the real world after especially after that party that I had on Saturday I start to realize the people I hang out with and the people that I hang out with you see you see like this huge huge thing that you just want to question like why are you so sensitive why do you get so angry or why do you do this why do you do that why do you insult people like that why do you do you know this other stuff like like let's take like literally the people who've recently left the community for example heavy he is known for being a pedophile around the community and people want to question him why did you do this with a 16 year old girl why didn't you just say no and you know all he did all he did was just deny it and say everything that you guys are saying is false and you can tell he you can't do that in the real world you can't just you you can't call out someone for being false about something for making a very declarative argument with you. You can't 
do that anymore. You you can't do that. You I mean maybe you can't do the internet because you have very little amount of backup. But in the real world, someone can throw you in jail for that. And then we got Omega the Squid Man, who's basically this big old bully around the community. And even though he's made the apology video, if you actually look on his channel, he's pretty much got rid of that. So I'm assuming that no one pretty much believed in him anymore. It's got to that point where it. Where him being a bully to a bunch of people on the internet has gotten so far that no one can trust him anymore, pretty much. And neither can I. Especially after he deleted his apology video, started making me think, okay, I think I know why he did. He's in a position where pretty much no one can just trust him anymore. And it's making me wonder, well, if people are having trouble talking to people on the internet, how are you going to, you know, have some decency talking to people out there where you're actually standing out of your basement and you're actually standing in front of someone maybe standing in front of someone with the opposite gender of you what are you going to do and <sighs> people on the internet these days they're just weird they're they're just weird and i know you can arguably say that's the same for me i know that i'm a pretty weird person but when I talk to you guys on the internet, I sound normal. I myself didn't even know how weird why I was until I actually talked to I until I actually talked to a girl. Until I actually talked to someone at a party. It I started noticing it and I started seeing it and dang. I did not know I had some kind of social anxiety in some level like I didn't even know I even had one I didn't even know I had some kind of thing going on against me until I actually talked to someone like in a normal way and again it's not the same as talking to people on the internet I'm I'm sorry if I'm literally beating over the head on you guys for it but it's the truth. You can't just assume everything will be fine because you're talking to someone on the internet. If you talk to someone in the real world where maybe you're having an argument about someone and they're just like, well, they have a different opinion about you. Or maybe you're trying to flirt with someone. It's If you're mostly doing any of that stuff on the internet, it's not the same out there. And again... Now that I've been away from Discord, now that I've kind of had my chance to talk to people out there in school, in parties, I start realizing how much of a problem I have with just talking to people, with just finding my own words to just come off right out of the bat. And it just makes me sick to the stomach about all the things I could say to someone, but then I didn't because I didn't know what to say because I'm just stuck on my chair on a computer screen, or looking at a computer screen, just saying, oh, hi, hello. Oh, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's cool. Like, that's all I've been pretty much doing on this chair. I've, you, there's a lot of things that you do with the internet that you can't just do out there. Like, I mean, okay, you can talk about memes, obviously, but when you're... Talking to people about, you know, maybe your own opinions or maybe your own feelings. You can't, or maybe how you just genuinely behave around people on the in, around on the internet. Whether if you just don't know that you act weird or you don't know that you have some kind of sensitivity. Or you don't know your own limit to just something. What are you going to do out there then? Like, here's another thing that also bogs me a lot. The people in the Splatoon community, or the reason why I just don't know how to hang out with people in the Splatoon community, is I don't know how to get people to talk about something that isn't Splatoon. Like, I understand why people would talk about it. It's because Naomi is it the type of thing that we're here for on my server most of the time, but it's also the thing that I upload on my content. It's the thing that I mostly do, 90% of my channel. It's just a bunch of Splatoon. But when I want to figure out how to talk about something else we just don't talk about it sometimes when we even talk about something you know we talk about splatoon we sometimes get to a little bit of a stretchier level where you start wondering where we're going and that's that's just why i don't like hanging out with people we we get to a level where we just don't want to be there we don't want to know the things that we probably should know like maybe you can like <sighs> Ah, 
See how difficult this is to come up with my own words? <sighs> this is the power of isolating yourself. You just lose your words. You don't know what you want to say anymore. That's why I stutter a lot. That's why I tend to not know what I want to say. I don't understand... Um, I just don't understand what I want to talk about. I don't understand what should come out of my mouth. I don't understand what I'm going to think of next. Like, I want to say something, but then another thing slaps into my head. And, again, it, it just happens. And, I, like, see, I don't, neither do I even know what I'm talking about. And, again, this is kind of what happens when you just isolate yourself. You don't know what you want to talk about. And that's what I've been pretty much doing at the party. I've been silent, like, a lot. There's a lot of times where you can get in a social group... I would get in the social group and I'll be just quiet the whole time. And that is is because I'm just a quiet person and I don't socialize a lot. And and if any of you guys are gonna say something on the lines of, well, that's what that's you can, you know, socialize on Discord. Socializing on Discord is nowhere near the same, apparently. That's what I've learned. That's why I feel like it's the truth, okay? And it just chatting, texting talking on Discord, or anything in general. It's it's not the same. It's just not. And, again, it people just on the internet can be questionable. And that's why I don't like hanging out with people on the internet. I don't know what to say other than, oh, like, every time when you talk to someone, or if I talk to someone, I could feel, and, or I text with someone, and I can see, like, this this thing that's, like, making me want to think, like, why? What? Why? Like, okay, here's a huge pet peeve I have. The people that are genuinely very sensitive over something, the people that insult people for doing something, um, there's a lot of people that I meet in the Splatoon community that just downright hate Fortnite. And I guess I can see why, but I mostly don't understand, other than... It's a game that's overrated, and I understand, maybe you just don't like how the game is overrated, but if you're going to like the game solely because it's overrated, and you're just going to mm to Fortnite, you can't do that, That's it's not how that works, you, you can't just do that, and then... And another thing I have is the people who generally text me a lot, who generally just don't want to leave me alone for just the next few hours. I'm not going to lie. That's my problem, too. I have, if, I don't like when people tend to, you know, constantly try and try and try to chat with me at any single hour possible. And that just means I've isolated myself to the point I just don't want to talk to people. Like, legit, anyone who comes to my room, all I can think of is, hey, uh, um, uh, uh, when are you leaving? And, uh, um, yeah, uh, can, can, can you leave now? That's, it's all I can think of. It's, it's driven me to the point where isolating myself in my room, doing nothing but talking to people on Discord, is not fixing my problem of socially talking to people out there. And it's neither for any of you guys who are watching this right now. Ugh. <sighs> But anyways, um, I think that's why I've been gone for basically all of October. I just had so many problems with genuinely being on Discord. There's same, it's just been this thing where it's just always becoming the same old repetitive thing with people in general. And it's on the internet and it's just really hard to figure out what do I want to talk about what do i want to say what can i do how do i fix how do i help someone who's going to be sensitive how do i help someone who's been insulting something for who knows why how do i help someone who doesn't do anything but talk about this one thing and or how do i help someone who you think is not that smart it <sighs> it's it's frustrating for me, and that's why I just don't like, that's why I'm starting to not like to talk to people on Discord anymore. Now, genuinely, people would be like, okay, so what does that mean? Like, does that mean you're just leaving Discord or what? Okay, admittedly, I guess after the video I've talked about why I left during October, um, I came back to Discord pretty much right away, but 
I still gotta admit, even those times I was on Discord, I still felt uncomfortable to just talk with others. Like, I guess the one problem I do have that I tend to just do a lot is see the things that's wrong with others, or at least bothers me that I don't see in the real world. Maybe it's because I hang out with a bunch of a bunch of people that are my age. Maybe it's that. Maybe I hang out with a bunch of people who are just genuinely mentally smarter than me. Maybe I hang out with a bunch of people who have advice for me, who would tell me like, oh, what am I, oh, oh you're doing this and that's bad. Or, or you're doing that and that's bad and what you should fix. Maybe it's that. But maybe that's why I like hanging out with people. I like hanging out with people who are mentally smarter than me. I like hanging out with people who do nothing but try to find words that sound nice to you. I like hanging out with people who are just genuinely older. I like hanging out with people who just know things in certain situations. That's why I like Trey a lot. He just sounds mentally older. He sounds he, he sounds at his right age. And the, I guess I could name a few friends who are at that point too, but it's not with everyone. It's not. And again, it's why... It's why I don't hang out with people on Discord a lot. Or it's why... I, maybe it's not that. Maybe it's why I sometimes try to not hang out with people on Discord. Maybe it's maybe it's something that I just get annoyed of. Maybe it's something... See, now I'm losing my words. Okay. This is... Technically speaking, I I will try my hardest to like be on Discord less because you know what I've what I've stated. So please hear me out, guys. I know that all of you would probably have a different opinion about this. I know all of you are probably gonna have a different thought about this, but. All I can think of is this is pretty much the truth. There are just every there are just so many people who either think too linear or they think too weirdly or they are weird. And the thing maybe the thing that makes me the most hurt is the fact that there's several things about those things that fit me and I wish didn't. I mean, maybe it's because I know people tend to think about the things that I'm genuinely good at. I'm I'm relatively nice if I try to. Um, I relatively think for people sometimes. I mean, I'm not sympathetic, but I understand people sometimes. Like, but the thing I have with Discord is that even though I do understand them and what's their problem, I feel like it is extended in a way where it's just a little ridiculous. Like, when someone is sensitive, okay, I guess they are sensitive, but there are some people like my little brother who are just overly way too sensitive. Or maybe there are some people who are overly way too sensitive that just leave my server for who knows why. Or maybe there are some people that don't even know they're attention seekers and pretend to not be. Or maybe there are some people... <sighs> that are not mentally as smart, maybe. So... I pretty much don't know what to say other than <sighs> this year has this year hasn't even come to a close yet and I've already learned a lot of things half of them being good and half of them being bad and <sighs> maybe I should start focusing on things that isn't just here and on my chair in front of a TV thinking that that's normal life see how much I've isolated myself at that point anyways guys um, that's gonna be the end of this video this is more of an important message I just wanted to throw out um, so you're not gonna find any type of edits in here so I guess I'll just be um, 
I'll just be hoping that you guys understand this video. Because if you don't understand the things that I'm talking about in this video, if you don't if you don't try to put yourself in a picture of something that you think might actually be related to you, you probably think for yourself way too much and think for yourself very little at the same time. So yeah. So do it. Think for yourself or think about yourself and think about the things that you think you do that you think could be wrong and try to think about the things that you could have done. And don't just think about nothing but the things that you want to talk about, the things that you've done nothing but the correct things. Think about the things that you've done wrong. Think about the things that is wrong with you and see if you can fix them. Because trust me, I've been in a state where there is a lot of things wrong with me. And I mean, I mean a lot. I couldn't socialize with people, right? I still technically can't. I um, don't know how to talk about the right things. I don't know how to talk. I didn't know how to talk to people with the manner that I want to talk about something appropriate. Because sometimes I might end up talking about something a little bit inappropriate. that A little too quickly. That's what I've done. And there are probably a lot of other things I can name off that was wrong with me. A lot. But that's what you should do. That's what I did. I looked at the things that I've done that I felt like were wrong. And I, especially after this year, like after halfway through this year, and I did nothing but look at them and picture them in a way where I could have fixed them. Not in a way where I could have just said, well, it happened, who cares? Please, guys, this to me is just relatively important and... You guys and me are weird and questionable. And I hate to say it, but it's true. All of us are. Especially me.